I just read about this mind-blowing study, the biggest brain imaging study on whiplash patients ever. They scanned patients' brains within three days of their car accidents and tracked them for a year to see if there were any signs predicting chronic pain. And here's the kicker. Just by looking at early brain changes, they could predict who'd still be in pain a year later. It turns out the patients who develop chronic pain showed extra activity between their hippocampus and amygdala, the parts of the brain tied to memory and emotions and especially anxiety. So what does this all mean? It tells us that the first few days after an injury are critical. Imagine if instead of endless meds and years of therapy, we focused on helping people manage their stress and fears right after an injury. Wouldn't that be a game changer? The sad reality is that the first days after an accident are full of stress. Insurance calls, paperwork, doctor visits, plus financial and family worries. But if we as healthcare providers and the society could ease people's stress immediately, it might just change their entire recovery. Because here's the thing, Pain isn't just about the injury, it's the brain that decides if something should hurt or not. Based on our memories and our emotions, one day, I hope everyone gets to see Pain the Musical, where this whole message is powerfully brought to life.